but in UFC foul at four or five. What's good boys? How y'all doing man? It's DJ and today we're gonna be talking about one of the features that we've seen in uh the trailer of UFC 5, but we haven't actually seen inside of UFC 5. It wasn't in the beta, at least I don't believe it was. We're gonna be talking about draws and doctor stoppages. Doctor stoppages were in the beta, but draws were not in the beta. And the reason we're gonna be talking about both of those is because in UFC 4, scorecards were a big issue. Not many fights went to the scorecard, I don't believe. I believe majority of fights ended by knockout, obviously. But at the higher level it's very hard to knock out a very high level player so scorecards are going to be one of the things that you have to focus on when you're equal or i don't want to say higher level than somebody or lower level than somebody because two very like neck and neck fighters like you, you can even be like a little bit better than somebody when somebody's in that same threshold of like skill it can come down to the scorecards and having draws might be ea's way of saving the scorecard system or the scoring system i'm gonna put screenshots up on the screen now of like absolute robberies and most times you won't be able to tell what the overall scorecard is you can't break down the round to see like who did what we've all been there you know you've you've played somebody or you won two or three rounds off somebody and you go to the scorecards and you lose 29 28 it just doesn't make any sense to you you can get knockdowns, you can get all these stuns whatever and you'll still lose on the scorecards or you can be dominating somebody in the wrestling out strike them by like 100 200 almost an entire fight of control time and still lose on the scorecards and it just doesn't make any sense like people are, are still to this day complaining about being robbed by the judges in ufc4 nobody really knows how the scoring system works they just know that it's not very reliable so finishing the fight is where most people try to go to because you don't want to go to the scorecards in ufc4 in a close fight because it could easily go the wrong way i've had it happen to me i know a lot of people watching have had it happen to them so online draws is one of those things that now it's like a, it could either go in UFC 4, it could go, you lose or you win the decision. Now we can go, you lose, you draw or you win the decision. So it's two results that you don't want to happen, especially in a competitive scene, because that means you have to run it back in a competitive scene and you don't want to have that happen. So uh, the draws probably will become a problem. People are, I, I don't know who was asking for them when EA claimed that we were all asking for them. I don't know who that was. I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody ask for online draws um, because they weren't, there weren't draws offline. Offline draws didn't happen. So now we have online draws. Like nobody, nobody wanted that. I, I'm not sure who did. Doctor stoppages are they're going to be extremely painful to deal with. I had somebody, I can't really express what happened in detail because if I do, my account will probably get banned. But all I'll say is I had somebody that was spamming me while I was playing in the beta and they were intentionally doing it because they knew somebody told them earlier in the day, I guess, that what they were doing was gonna get them doctor stoppages. And they went through and did that all day to people. I was one of them and I was winning the fight completely, but because of what they were doing, I got a, uh, a cut on my face that, that apparently, I was blocking all the strikes, but I guess it was just bleeding through the block. And because of that, it cut me open and it just got worse and worse every time they landed or landed because it was hitting my block. And eventually it just, uh, he backs up all the way to the other side of the cage. Herb Dean steps in and the doctor comes in and, and stops the fight. And there was nothing I could do to stop it either, which like really makes me mad because it's not like I did something wrong in the fight. I blocked the strike like I was supposed to, but it bled through the block. So that will be a whole other video. I'm assuming it'll be fixed in the beta or in the actual game, but if it isn't, I'll make a video for that. But assuming that it will be fixed, I will just say that the doctor stoppages are what need to be fixed because it is super easy to get a doctor stoppage. I mean, like, it's really just elbows, man. Like, if you get somebody down in side control, I'm not saying that's what the person did to me because nobody's ever going to do that to me. But um, if you get somebody down in side control or crucifix side saddle and you just land elbows on them from from side saddle crucifix or, or uh side control if you just land those elbows on them you get back up and you back up and it's done like you have to land a good amount probably like i'd say like 10 
you can see it in the corner of the screen you'll see it there they'll have this little like medic medic box thing it'll have a plus in it and it'll go from yellow to orange to red like progressively as you open up the cut and um the more elbows you lay on the worse it gets so you can just honestly just get into side control or crucifix is really the worst somebody gets you in crucifix you might as well a good player gets you in crucifix you might as well just quit because that fight's over right there they're just gonna elbow you and by the time you get out of that position even if you get out of crucifix you're gonna be in side control or side saddle and they're still gonna have the option to elbow you some more and even if you get out of side saddle you're gonna go back into side control and they can still elbow you and your stamina is gonna be low it's just a bad ordeal overall uh, landing elbows on the on the ground is what easily starts a doctor stoppage cutscene and if that's not fixed by the time the game comes out you're just gonna have a bunch of people trying to cheese their way into side control and then they're just gonna hold you there and you're not gonna be able to get up and it's gonna cause a lot of rage quits especially with the new stamina system supposed to be coming in um i imagine people are just gonna try to get you into side control and just deny you once and then either transition to like a crucifix or something or they're just going to deny you once and then they're just going to start spamming those elbows and it'll make it a living hell to try to get out from under them seeing as you have a limited amount of elbows you can take before a doctor stoppage cutscene triggers and on top of that nobody wants to be sucking side control anyway so um i think they need to nerf the side control position anyways it's not that dominant of a position in real life uh, you can't just start throwing strikes like that and uh I, I don't think it should be that strong of a position i think crucifix and side saddle you can keep them as a dominant i guess uh crucifix for sure if you get crucifix in real life of course but in ufc follow at four or five side control should not be dominant because i don't know anybody in real life who just got somebody to side control and just dominated the fight while sitting in side control for 15 minutes like sure it can be a dominant position when you're working towards like a crucifix or something but i don't know anybody who can just sit inside control and just ride it out and do efficient damage i just don't think that's a thing or somebody who can just hold somebody inside control i don't you don't see that in real life so it shouldn't be that hard of a position to get out of in ufc 4 or 5 both of them and hopefully they, they make it a little easier to get out of that we'll see man really the the main focus is on doctor stoppage and, and online draws the two new features that are coming in and i just really hope that they don't end up ruining the online experience because i don't want to have to worry about getting put on my back and elbowed five times and then all of a sudden the fight's over and i also don't want to have to worry about somebody spamming me with a certain strike and that causing a cut that i can't stop like i can't stop the strike from landing because it, it just bleeds through so hopefully those are fixed and hopefully online draws aren't so common because in real life draws are not common also draws are very uncommon you see like one or two every like six months i'd say like draws are not common especially in a, a five round fight you'll get like it's rare to see a draw in a five round fight and it's rare to see a draw in most sports like draws don't normally happen so hopefully draws aren't like this thing that just happen anytime you go to a decision with a close fight and they focus on balancing it out so that people can have fun people can play their friends and not have to worry about it going to a decision it can go to a decision you can be comfortable knowing that you won or lost now if it's like razor close actually like it's one knockdown to one knockdown 32 strikes to to 31 things like that okay i can understand a draw but like i shouldn't be two knockdowns to one uh three stuns to to four and that's a draw like i don't think that should be a thing i think the person that leads in knockdown should win the round um if there is no knockdown the person that leads in significant strikes and control time should win the round hopefully they just balance everything out man oh uh, i really don't want these situations to get out of hand with like draws and doctor stoppages ruining the, the online experience so hopefully they figure it out and they fix those mechanics man but let me know how you guys feel about online draws and doctor stoppages coming into play let me know how you guys feel about the submission system that is brand new and revamped and i'll make a video on that if anybody wants me to and grappling in general and let me know uh, what you guys want to see in the future if you guys want me to talk about the dlcs or anything like that 
uh i'd be happy to talk about that career mode all of that let me know what you guys want me to talk about next like comment subscribe for more i've been your boy dj don't forget to join the wolf pack peace It's a